Hey, welcome to Honeyock Honeybees. And by request, someone wanted to watch us cage queens and see how we do it. So, uh, let's see where she went. She was right over in this here area. But you can see the brood, and she's doing very well. And this is just a frame and a two frame box. Um, this one's a striped carniolan, so it's a little tougher to find at times. She was. Yep, there she is. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, hand behind the camera. <laughs> so, what I'll do, I have my cage ready, my cork is out, and then I like to catch them uh, when they're face up or whatever, at least, but you just catch them by the, by the wings. And you see there. And then I put them head first into the, the cage, and away it goes. So now I got to catch all these guys. And if you're doing this or trying to learn how to do it, when we first started, we were taping up our fingers and all that stuff. And you can't really feel the bees doing that, but we were concerned about getting stung and all that. Um, I've done this all this year. We've sold quite a few queens, and I think I've been stung twice. So we'll see. But if, if they're in there like this one, can you see that, Victor? Yep. Those are like money. Those are easy uh, to grab hold of. The other ones, uh, the fat bee man likes, whenever we're doing this with him, he likes the ones where the wings stand really tall and they're just easy to, to pick up. See how the wings stand up? You can just grab their wings and then that keeps that stinger away from you. And then you just put them in head first and close it up. The one thing I didn't show you first, we got shadows here, but you wanna make sure your queen is on the other end or at least facing the other way. They are very quick. Sometimes they wanna shoot out that hole and if you see a head coming and you throw your thumb over it, you might pinch and kill your queen. So then you just lost your money. So let's just get a few more. Um, like this one here. That's the one with its head in there and only got one wing and it was trying to get me so you let it go. But usually I leave the cork, the entrance that I'm putting them in up so that way even gravity helps pull them down into the cage. It always seems awkward when the camera is rolling on how to do this quickly but I'm typically not on my knees doing this. But you want to put in, you know, seven or eight of them to make sure that she has plenty of bees in that cage to help take care of her. Now you'll notice on these, I don't have any queen candy in these cages. It's because I'm caging these up for uh, splits. And we did quite a few splits yesterday, and I'm going to just install these in today so there's no need for the, the queen candy. We do have queen candy in these when we ship them. So if we end up shipping these cross country to you, uh, there'll be queen candy. And we actually give them a little bit of water, uh, we give them a little bit of honey, stuff like that before we close up the box. So I typically go to the post office at noon. So right before 12 o'clock, I, uh, give them some water and close it up. And typically it's a two day delivery, two day shipping. Sometimes it goes to three. So that's plenty in there now for what we're doing. That's kind of how we do it. And then I'll put the cork in kind of sideways so it's easier to grab. When we ship them to you, we'll have one end that's flat, so it's more difficult. That's the end that would be direct release. And this end will be with the queen candy on this end, and I'll have the cork kind of sticking out, so it's easier for you, and it's easier to remember, okay, I just want to take the cork out of this side. Because it can get kind of intense, I mean, especially when you're new to this. Like, it's, it's exciting when you're going in a box of bees and you're not used to it yet, and you're you know, very anxious 
and it's very easy to grab the wrong cork so that's why we put the one cork in there kind of crooked like that so it's just easy to grab and pull out but you can see on this one this is kind of what we're looking for before we ship them to you and this queen is doing fantastic there's not very many bees in that box I mean I'll show you the other side they haven't drawn this side out yet there's just no bees but the side they did she laid it up very well the other frame in there they're hatching out right now so she's been in there a little while and doing very well that's how we do it that's how we cage a queen and you get these other guys that kind of come over because they like hey queen smells good and there she is thanks for watching Hanyak honeybees. Hanyak!